Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the Crochet Circle. It's a mess. It's a huge mess. But, wanna know why? Look, look at this tiny little acorns that I've made. Now you know why I needed all these different colors of lace yarn. Uh, I was using a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook with it. But in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to make this huge one. Now with this one, I was using a 3 millimeter crochet hook and some... This is called Tango cotton yarn. And I hope you will join me on the part 1 video tutorial how to make the base. So I'm going to be making in this video tutorial the acorn. Not to worry, it's really easy. It's only using single crochet stitches with increases where, you know, increases are just doing two single crochet stitches in one stitch and a decrease where you kind of just join two single crochet stitches into one. Up here in the corner, you're gonna have a row by row um, pattern written and there is like always in my patterns it's something you can adjust so you can adjust the size of the acorn um, depending on how many rows of 18 single crochet stitches you're gonna make so here's the same acorns the same pattern one has more 18 single crochet stitches than the other one so you kind of get a taller one and a chubbier one. But yeah, part one, how to make the base. Let's begin. Okay, so now I'm putting all this stuff away. And let's begin with first the bottom part. For the bottom part, I'm going to be using the light brown uh, cotton yarn. What else you need? You need, of course, some yarn, you need a crochet hook, scissors, then some fiber fill, and, of course, a needle. Just to sew in all the ends. You don't need the... I don't need the small crochet hook, but yeah, let's begin. So, the pattern will be up here, somewhere, written row by row. And I will explain if you need to be, if you need to look out for something, but it's using just standard, <laughs> standard, it's using U US uh, crochet stitch names. So if you're using the UK uh, stitch names, you will have to change it just a little bit. But for me, I'm using US uh, terms. So I am going to begin with, oh, just the stitches that I'm using. I'm only going to be using single crochet stitches, increases. That means I'm going to be doing two single crochets into one stitch. And I'm going to be using decreased stitches. That means I'm going to stitch two single crochets back into one. So first it's going to go out, then some rows on the same numbers, and then back to fill it up and to close it up. Okay, so I think now I can really begin. I'm gonna start with a magic ring. So that means yarn twice around my thumb. I go in with my crochet hook, grab the working yarn and make a chain one. Now that I have the chain one, that I am up into the first row, let's say it like that, I need to do six single crochets in the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six single crochet stitches in the magic ring. Now I have to close it up. So I'm just pulling the loop and closing it up. Okay, 
So that's row number one done. Uh, row number two is going from six stitches to nine stitches. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna do a single crochet and an increase, a single crochet and an increase, a single crochet and an increase. So a single crochet and an increase three times and then at the end I'm gonna have nine stitches. Okay, so that's the first one is... To be honest, you can either make first a single crochet, a single crochet stitch and then an increase, or you can make first an increase and then a single crochet stitch. So I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna do first an increase and then a single crochet. So one, two, is an increase, three in the next stitch, come on focus a bit, three is a single crochet, five, six is an increase, Four, five was an increase, six is a single crochet, me and my numbers. Now seven, eight is an increase. That means two single crochets in the same stitch. I have to, I'm gonna change my focus like this, so it's not gonna be going in and out all the time. So seven, eight, I said it's an increase and nine is a single crochet stitch. That's row number two done. Okay, so now let's go up to row number three. In row number three, I'm gonna go from nine stitches to 12. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna do an increase and then two single crochets and I have to repeat that three times. So an increase, that means two single crochet stitches in one stitch, so that's a one, two, three, four are going to be single crochet stitches. So that's three and four. Five, six is an increase. two single crochets in the same stitch, seven, eight single crochets. Nine, ten is an increase, so that means two single crochet stitches in one. Eleven, twelve single crochets. Now to go from, in the next round, to go from 12 to 15, I have to do an increase and then three single crochets and I have to repeat that three times. So an increase, one, two is an increase, that means two single crochet stitches in the same stitch, three, four, five single crochet stitches. So that's three, four and five. Six, seven is an increase, so in the next stitch I'm gonna do two single crochets. So one, two, that was actually six, seven, eight, nine, ten single crochets. So that's eight, nine and ten. 11, 12 in the next stitch, that's an increase. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen single crochet stitches. Nine, 
Now I'm at 15 stitches. I need to do one more row of increases. So to go from 15 to 18, I'm going to do an increase and four single crochet stitches. And I have to repeat that three times. So that's an increase is one, two. Three, four, five, six is going to be single crochet stitches. So that's three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight is an increase. So that means two single crochet stitches in the same stitch. Nine. 10, 11, 12 single crochet stitches. Thirteen, fourteen, an increase. That means in one single crochet stitch, I'm gonna make two of them. So thirteen, fourteen, an increase. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen is gonna be single crochet stitches. So that's 16, 17, and 18. And that's the bottom part of the acorn done. Now what I have to do is, what you have to do as well, is just do single crochet stitches for your desired height. So I'm gonna do one row of counting the 18 stitches and then I'm gonna put a stitch marker in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and one more is 18. It is nice and pointy at the end. So I'm gonna use a stitch marker. Pink, of course. And I'm gonna put it in and this stitch. because I would suggest making at least four or five rounds of just 18 single crochet stitches, but you will kind of get the feel if you want it a bit, you know, taller or a bit smaller and chubbier. So I'm gonna do five more rows of 18 single crochet stitches. Now that you kind of have the base, how to do the bottom part, because there it is a bit pointy and it looks much nicer if you make it a bit more pointier. But if you don't want to be bothered with making it pointy at the beginning, you can just make normal increases of six. But as you saw in this tutorial, I showed you how to make the increases of three. I did have to make a few more rows to come up to 18 count, but an acorn is always a bit pointy at the bottom.
Okay, so one row done, four more to go, or at least four more to go, because I'll just fe I'll just see how I will feel with the height of the acorn. If it's not gonna be enough, then I'm gonna make another row or two, but I will definitely not go below that. So single crochet stitches all the way around. Now if you would be using uh, even thicker yarn or bigger crochet hook, you can also make an acorn amigurumi. Just put some eyes in before the before the closing up before we're actually gonna start filling the acorn up now for the top part actually first for the closing up of the acorn I'm gonna be just using uh, the decreases of 6, so it's gonna go from 18 to 12 and then down to 8. Then I'm gonna use my needle and sew together the top. So because the acorn is not pointy at the top, it's just pointy at the bottom. So at the end you're gonna be done in about two rows. But first I have to get to there. So I'm just doing single crochet stitches until my desired height. I said I'm gonna make at least five rows with the possibility of six or seven. It is up to you because not all acorns are the same and I don't want to make all the acor an acorns anchors acorns also the same so some are gonna be a bit taller some are gonna be a bit more chubbier but they are all gonna be 18 stitches in a round the only thing it will change will be the height Now acorns are a perfect autumn decoration because now in autumn the leaves are getting brown and you have these nice colors that you see everywhere and acorns are really colorful as well to be honest and that is why perhaps in the beginning you saw all the colors that I had for the lace yarn where I'm gonna be making some autumn decoration it's probably gonna be an autumn wreath where I'm gonna kind of just sew on all the leaves and all the acorns that I've crocheted one of the things that I also want to do is with the ones that I have um, done with a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook is perhaps a brooch or a pin or whatever you want to call it so just something to accessorize your coat because it's autumn it should be nice and colorful of course more in the brownish colors but still
So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I will make another row. So I'm gonna have six rows of 18 single crochets. And then I'm gonna start with the decreases. Now again, if you want, you can make it an amigurumi, so you can either put some safety eyes in at this point, or you can embroider some eyes later when it's already filled with fiber fill. Uh, with what else would I fill it? I could fill it with some cotton yarn scraps that I have lying here around, but I'm still saving those up for a much bigger project where I can you know, hide them into fiber fill and it's not gonna be seen. But yeah, if you want an acorn amigurumi, just put two eyes, a little smile and it's done. Now, in this part one tutorial, I mean, it's all gonna be one tutorial. In the next section of the tutorial, I will show you then how to make the cap and how to assemble it. Okay, I'm gonna do three more stitches and then I'm gonna begin with decreases. One more. Okay, so I have 18 stitches now here and now I'm gonna start making decreases. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna do a single crochet and a decrease. I'm just gonna put my starting tail in because I don't need it here. And I can also put some fiber fill already in. I'm gonna fill it up later when I'm gonna do the first row of decreases but the first it is already filled in just a little bit okay so decreases now you can go decreasing with through both loops but I only take the front loops of the two stitches so I have the working yarn I have loops, one loop, the front loop only, from the first stitch and then the next stitch, pull it through and pull it through. That's one. Now the next stitch is a single crochet. That's two. The next stitch is again a decrease, so I'm gonna take front loop only and a front loop only from the next stitch. Pull my yarn through, pull my yarn through. So that's three. Four is a single crochet. Five, again a decrease. Front loop only, front loop only. Pulling the yarn through, pulling the yarn through. That's five. Now I'm at six. I'm just gonna use some more fiber fill just to fill it in. Now seven is going to be a decrease, front loop only, front loop only, and through all of it. Eight, nine, front loop only, front loop only, and together, and that's now ten. 11 is a decrease, front loops only, and 12. Now I'm gonna see if I need to fill it up a bit more. To be honest, it's looking good, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now to go from 12 to 8, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 
four decreases. So that's first decrease, second decrease. Of course, grabbing the front loops only. Now this is the third one. And the fourth one. Now I'm gonna leave not so much of a tail, just a little bit. Cut the yarn. Pull the yarn through because don't forget there's still a cap that you need to put on but that will be done in a different color and the cap will be sewn up to the base with that color. Okay so now that I've almost finished I'm gonna close the top gap and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through the front loops only. So through each stitch I'm just grabbing the front loop I'm not pulling on purpose because I'm gonna pull that all together at the end now the last one And now you just pull it tight. And that's it. So that's the base of the acorn done. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and comment if you have any uh, questions and don't forget to subscribe just so that you're gonna get notified when I'm gonna have something new out. But for now, little acorns.